Hello everyone, welcome to Scratch Challenge number one for 2017-18. This year we're going to try to do something a little bit different. We're going to try to take skills that you've learned in past Scratch challenges and apply them in different ways to interesting challenges. So in this one, um, challenge number one, what you're going to do is you're going to have two dice and you're going to roll the dice and you'll determine and have it announce which of the two dice is, has a greater value. So to start, what I've done is I've pre-made a Scratch project page for you to use. If you go to the URL I've shortened for you here, it'll navigate you to the dice sample blank page. You'll click up here in the corner to remix this for yourself and be able to start to edit the code. So what I've done is inside each one of the dice, dice and dice two, is I've added a bunch of different costumes. So you can see there's costume one, costume two, costume three, costume four, and I've actually named the costumes exactly to correspond with the number of dots on the face of the dice. So you see it's only the number one here, and there's one dot. There's uh, the number two here and uh, two dots here. I've done this to make your life easier for coding. If you go to looks and you switch to costume, switch the costume for the red dice to costume six, we run that code, you notice it changes to the appropriate costume. Why this makes your life easier for coding is what you can do is you can use a, a variable, for example, like I've set up for you already, and I can use set We'll make this because it's dice one. This is dice one. We'll set dice random to number five. And then we'll use the variable dice random. And every time I click the flag, it's going to go exactly to the number I set it to. So you see how I can use that. And that's a really big hint to help you out um, be able to do this. Now, you're not going to want to set it. You're going to want to make this a random number between 1 and 6 because when you roll a dice, you'll remember that it's a random number between the number 1 and number 6. So it could be 1 or 3 or 5 or 2. Um, and those would be um, randomly picked here, and you're going to have to set up your code to do that. To help you with your thinking, I've also created a logic tree diagram. So the way this code could work, is you're going to start up by pressing the space key or any other key or some trigger to start the program. Um, simultaneously or at the same time, um, dice one is going to pick a random number, store that random number as a variable for dice one, and the image of dice one is going to change to match the random number. Random number between one and six is picked and stored as a variable for dice two. The image of dice two is changed to match the random number. Um, at the same time. So when you press the, press the space key, dice 1 and dice 2 both pick variables and then make their images match the random number that's picked. And then you got to do some thinking. First you check to see if the dice are the same value. If they are, you get a message that says one of the dice saying we are equal. If not, your code should check and see, well maybe is dice 1 greater than dice 2? If yes, dice 1 says it's bigger. And if not, dice 2 says it's bigger. To give you an idea of what this will look like as a final product, um, I just happen to have the final product right here. And so what you'll probably do is when you click the flag, for me it's the space bar, notice now my dice announce which one of them has a greater value. Wow, that's, there we go, I rushed a little bit, I gotta wait a little bit longer. See if I can by chance get an equal of course, this is random. There we go. So you get the idea. It's a pretty simple and straightforward challenge. I hope you like it. And I will be attaching to the bottom of our um, video a studio that you can share your final work with as well. And I really look forward to seeing your uh, finished projects. And for bonus challenge, you'll notice what I've done here. So I've included design the same activity, but now use three dice. And so the dice of the three that is the greatest, we'll announce that it has the greatest value. I hope you find this challenge um, fun and that you're able to use skills you already have. I've given you some helpful blocks down here that might help you in accomplishing your challenge because these are the blocks I use to kind of accomplish and finish this task as well. Good luck and have fun.